I'm just an average American citizen worrying about America. I just want to keep our freedom and let our children and grandchildren have a free country. I'm going to share with you some things that I believe. But you are most certainly open to your own opinion and I encourage you to research the truth and don't simply believe what the government keeps telling you as they obviously have their own agenda. I don't ever remember us having a president who didn't like America, but the one we have now does not. I think our president is really George Soros and the ACLU because Obama has to do what they say. And none of them like America. They even want to change our Constitution. Although some people make fun of the Tea Parties, I want to emphasize why we have Tea Parties across our nation. To put it simply, we are losing our freedom. Some people don't understand that. Our founding fathers wanted us to have freedom, and they, along with a lot of brave soldiers who lost lives, worked diligently toward that. We've learned over the years how our country came together to crush Nazism and fascism. And they inspire generation after generation to keep our freedom. Now there are people in Washington who uh, want to change our country to something most of us don't like or want. If we don't stop it soon, we will be socialists and then communists. We have to get together and let our voices be heard. And those voices need to power real change to get our freedom country and our freedoms restored. Not that bogus change Americans were promised a year ago and yet haven't seen. If George Soros and the ACLU don't want to worship God, that is their right because this is America. And that's what freedom represents. But if the rest of us Americans want to worship God, that is our right also. Our flag should fly everywhere in America even apartment complexes, neighborhoods, and even businesses. If anyone complains, they should be reminded that this is America, and if they don't like it, they can just leave. Our nation was established for freedom, and America should remain free. On health care, there were some editorials in our newspaper saying we are selfish, that we don't want health care the government is offering. The people that wrote these editorials will have to buy the insurance, and there are thousands of amendments attached to this health care plan, about 2,000 amendments. Most of our House and Senate representatives haven't even read the health care bill, so when they vote, they really don't know what they're voting for. The amendments were written by very liberal people who don't care about America. A few of the amendments are, the government will ration treatment for cancer patients and will also restrict enrollment for special needs people. The government will provide end-of-life treatment and will have a say in how our life ends. Also, they want to go into our bank accounts and they also want to go into your home and tell you how to raise your children. Countries that have nationalized their health care Great Britain, Canada, France, Sweden, and Germany, they're all moving away from socialized medicine. Procedures like help and knee replacements or just seeing a doctor takes a long time. If this health care passes, and it seems like every crazy idea the liberals dream up to take control of these people, and more importantly, their money, passes without someone ever reading the bill, it is up to us, America, to right these wrongs and to ensure that the House and Senate representatives don't remain in office. I urge you to vote them out of office just as soon as possible. I also want to briefly discuss the notion of global warming and global cooling. 
or let's just call it what it really is, another way for the government to send, spend money they don't currently have. Theodore Roosevelt proclaimed that conservation was a great issue for our country. Now our government is calling it global warming. And not surprisingly, sometimes we have global cooling. But the government wants to have the control and resources to fight climate change, whatever direction that might be. That's because I believe those in power have directed connections with businesses that stand to make millions, if not billions of dollars, on the regulation, monitored, and the taxing of American businesses and American people. For this reason, they dreamed up cap and trade. Most of the equipment to measure the gases won't even be available for 20, 10 to 20 years. With so many people out of work, it should be plainly obvious that getting people back to work should be the most important thing to do for now. It's finding jobs, that is finding jobs for people, not creating global warming myths that will tax us through cap and trade. America, we must keep our eyes and ears open. We all need to work very hard to keep our freedom Pray about it. Ask God to show us the right direction that we need to go. We all need to work together and keep America safe. I would like to hear from you as to your thoughts about this.